I got interested in BMX, uh, was riding the school bus home in seventh grade, and one of the guys on the bus had a BMX action magazine, and he had looked through it, and we lived out in the country, so it took an hour, about an hour and a half to get us all home, and I was one of the last stops, so he let me read this magazine, and it was a whole new world. <laughs> uh, I saw these bikes and these guys doing all the stuff I wanted to do on motocross bikes that mom and dad said no, and uh, they would consider a bicycle. So that was a whole new way to get into motocross. I lived in Little Rock when I was little. Uh, moved to Cabot when I was about eight or nine years old. And we moved out to the country and, you know, didn't have cable TV and didn't have video games. So I had a BMX bike. So just grew up out there. Uh, had a couple of buddies who lived out there and, and we all had bikes. We lived two or three miles apart from each other. So we, each of us had our own little BMX track in the pasture, you know. So we'd, we'd ride from one house to do that BMX track. We'd eat lunch. We'd go down to the next guy's house. And uh, it was just what you did, you know, when you lived out in the country and, and uh, had a bike. BMX has a good history in the state of Arkansas. We're standing out here at Bonsai BMX, which I took over as track operator in the last part of 93. Previous to this, it had been at Brockington Road in Sherwood. And previous to that, there was another track where Russell Chevrolet sits. Uh, that was the Whole Shot 2 track. The original Whole Shot was out towards Little Rock. And there was actually another BMX track in Burns Park where the motocross track and the soccer field sit now. They actually tore down the BMX track to build the motocross track, which is kind of ironic because while I was running this track, when they decided they were no longer going to use the motocross track and build more soccer fields, I actually got the dirt to help build this track, so it kind of came home. The, the sport of BMX sort of almost split and became, a, there was another aspect to it, which was freestyle. And that was really mostly riding on streets where you were you know, spinning the handlebars or spinning the bike around or, or riding skateboard style ramps. Uh, and, and that's kind of what I kind of got into and, and quit the racing. The sport of BMX is a really, really family oriented sport. Uh, my son is a second generation BMX racer. We've got third and fourth generation guys going out. Uh, BMX started in the early 70s. Uh, a bunch of kids out in Southern California rented a vacant lot and uh, started holding races out there. They were doing intermission races at motocross races at the real motocross tracks and they would let the kids out on their bikes during the motocross races and it kind of went from there. Um, they started out on the old Schwinn Stingray with the banana seat and the big ape hanger bars and they started destroying those bikes left and right. And uh, the American engineering got into it and dad's like, well, if he's breaking this, we need to build him something. And I've got a buddy that knows how to weld and it just went from there and evolved into an entire industry uh, of building bikes that these kids couldn't tear up. And so it's evolved into that. Um, a lot of folks travel. There's national level events that they go and they'll rent an arena for the weekend and they'll build a track and everybody from that region comes into the country and, and everybody gets to compete against everybody their age and skill level and see where they're at nationally. And then they go to the Grand Nationals in Tulsa, Oklahoma every year. And that's, that's the Super Bowl of BMX. That's where you really find out you know, what you're made out of. The sport of BMX finally got in, inducted into the Olympics in 2010 in the, the Beijing China Games um, and has came back in the Summer Olympics in 2012 in London and has been blowing up left and right. Uh, they actually have got a junior development league for training athletes to be at the Olympic level. There's an entirely different track that's set up, not your typical local track. Uh, the starting hills are 40, 50 feet tall. The jumps are 50, 60 feet across. You know, huge jumps, big jumps, uh, lots of speed, and uh, usually for the older guys to, to go through and do that. When I first started traveling as part of the bicycle business, I would meet people from all over the country and, you know, you would tell them you're from Arkansas and, and now they want to come here because they've heard so much good stuff about this state. The mountain biking is incredible. Uh, the road biking is, is pretty fantastic. Um, and, and people want to come here now. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a destination anymore for, for a cyclist is to come to Arkansas. 
I would definitely recommend Arkansas for any visitors. Um, if you ride a mountain bike, there are two Imba Epic trails. There's only, I believe, 50 in the country, and we have two of them in Arkansas. Uh, the Womble Trail and, I believe, Silamos Trail uh, in northwest Arkansas. And those trails are absolutely amazing. Um, they're, they're recognized nationally as, as amazing mountain bike trails. The, with the Arkansas River Trail, we have the Big Dam Bridge. We have the Big Dam Bridge 100, which is an annual event every year. Uh, lots of people turning out for that. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The places to ride in Arkansas are just unlimited.